Oh my god. Okay, we'll put that right back. We get that. We got our drinks it's ready. Cody, don't you? Wait, I didn't, you, I I didn't pop it. I just cysted. You cysted. <laughs> Maddie has cyst. his own scent. Yeah, do you yeah. Like, I don't know him, but I, I feel like he looks like he doesn't smell good. <laughs> <laughs> We're keeping that in. Say hi to Eli. Makes We're sense now. Say hi to Eli. It's racially ambiguous, Maddie. It's fucking ridiculous donut that's harder to rhyme but he's a really nice guy welcome to unsubscribe hey guys <laughs> thanks for watching the subscribe podcast um make sure wherever you're listening or watching whether it's on youtube uh castro spotify apple google amazon podbean stitcher or that's all of them. Please leave a comment, uh, uh, like it, thumbs up it, give it a rating of five stars, whatever you can do. It helps the podcast out immensely. And Donut and Eli will be very happy if you do that. And we want to make Donut and Eli happy today. Yeah. For five stars on everything and a comment if there is possible because we need to be at the top. Donut, say something come. motivating. And that's where the you come. That is... Come subscribe. This we is got our cans. Yeah, when Cody does his intro. One, two, wait, wait, are we wait. Intro do, we, first do we do? Now oh, I forget. You guys don't have a. Oh, so hi, like, everyone. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to the unsubscribe podcast here. I am joined today by Eli Double Fap, Kevin from Q, and Mr. Brandon Gerberbers. Gergergers. Gergergers. just going down. Because he is Mexican. We just got on here. Yeah, this is what happens. Those cameras are on. We're recording. You didn't do drugs with us before. Yeah. You sit around the table and you have a stroke for an hour. It's basically what we got. Oh, it's Tuesday. Kevin, welcome. Welcome. Thank you so much. All right, who's our guest? Eli? We have a fantastic Mr. Kevin from Q, our very first African American. Well, you're. I was born in Morocco. There you go. Were you really? Yeah. No oh, shit. Wait, yeah. what? Yeah. So you were legitimately that. an African American. Do we give him the end pass? We do. <laughs> <laughs> can we give that pass? <laughs> I think we can now. It's, I think this side of the table has. Well, no, you have the say. Mm. I'm gonna be flying it, around this room. He's gonna <laughs> give up. He's gonna give us the end pass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, this is the unsubscribe podcast where Kevin, the points are made up and the rules don't matter. Kevin's yeah. immediately like just gets up and oh, walks away. Like, no, this is not what I was signing up for. Uh, yeah, I, I have employees I'm responsible for, so let's just move along. Like, Kevin? Your HR person just shot up in your sleep like, oh, something's oh. wrong. There's been a disturbance in the yeah, force. I know, the phone's going nuts over on the bar. She's it's texting me right now. It's like millions of inwards suddenly cried out. Yeah. I, I, I come to the disturbance. Yeah. Oh, like no. thousands of blue hairs on Twitter cried out in terror. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is all too great, sir. Kevin made the honey badger. Isn't that fucking cool? That's, that's, that's yeah. and Also invented 300 Blackout. Oh, you that's invented 300 Blackout. Kind of a, a little bit of a big deal. But yeah. seriously, making an, an animal, how did you do that? That's crazy. Well, so one night, it was late. I was desperate. Jesus and I were talking. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, we had this little thing that was really cute that fucked lions up. That'd be awesome. <laughs> He's like, bam, the honey badger. <laughs> and there it was. Uh, Man, I'm just, I tip my hat to you, yeah. sir. <laughs> what, you're welcome. Where, like, why, why did you want to make the 300 blackout? So. Oh man, yeah. Okay, first of all, you we talked made, about this last so time. You made like eight points. You made so many different things. Also, you know what's the Call of Duty? What's it called in Call of Duty? Your fire. Oh, the, now it's called the Chimera, but it was the Honey Badger originally when I put it in there. This is what we're gonna go over today. Oh, we're today. learning about guns in video games and then how they translate into the real names for all right. it. Spoiler did, alert. Did, did they license they that? Or can you no. Here, here's how it happened. So in two thousand, oh. what? No, he doesn't like, know like how the names work on this stuff. So this will be sure. a really good like discussion for nerd shit. Oh, okay. So <laughs> in like 2009, 10, I was uh, hired by Infinity Ward, who makes Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Mm -hmm. Which I want to preface this with: I'm sorry, I've never played a video game past like Super Mario Brothers or Mario Kart, so I've never played Call of Duty. But they were in a fight with sort of like Ghost Recon, where Ghost Recon, my understanding at the time was they were technically more correct. And um, for like, sh what do you call them? Like first person shooter games? Yeah. yeah. Hey, you got it. Okay. okay. So okay. they were technically correct. And Call of Duty was more fun to play. 
So they were trying to get more technically correct, and Ghost Recon was trying to get more fun. They both fucked up. Okay. So, <laughs> but, so, so they hired me to do technical consulting, and that's how I got the Honey Badger in there. So the Honey Badger happened. 300 Blackout happened because SEAL Team 6, who I made all the silencers for at the time, came to me, and they were working with a 300 Whisper cartridge, and they wanted, uh, it wasn't working well, and they wanted us to fix it. And so we did it, and we named it 300 Blackout. And so we did it for them. And then the Honey Badger was for another special operations group because for SEAL Team 6, we just did uppers for their guns, their mm -hmm. HK-416s. And uh, the, the other real cool group wasn't into that. They were like, hey, we've already got our thing squared away. And I was like, well, what if I did this in a gun that could replace the MP5 SD because that life cycle has been up for 25 years? They're like, oh, that's cool. And so then I had to make the Honey Badger, which is why I did it. And so I wasn't really going to sell it commercially, but, you know, the so back to Call of Duty, um, that's sort of what that game's about, I think, judging by, yeah. yeah. Like top-tier yeah. unit guys doing cool shit. And so I put the Honey Badger in there during this program. And so then it just became like, you know, it's the best marketing I ever accidentally did. Oh, that's hand. sort of how all those things happened. From a line chef cook at McDonald's to creating the greatest weapon platform. It's amazing how far you've came in life. I know. I have a helicopter, a plane, a big mansion, and a bunch of business. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that. I'd and say he's coming to over here. He's I mean, like, cute. Here with you, dorks. <laughs> Yeah, so you've downgraded a bit. Um, you can't get a girl, get a cute boy, Brandon. That hair is looking good, my man. Don't wait till I take a drink and say shit like that. Okay. okay, first off, what is the whisper cartridge? Well, so it was a Wildcat cartridge, which was basically a 5.56 case with a 308 bullet in it. The problem is the 308 Thank shape of the bullet, which is called an ogive, won't feed reliably in an AR-15. So we had to make that shape correct. So it would take up the full length of the magazine and be the right shape to feed correctly in the magazine and into the barrel extension into the chamber. Which had some hilarious repercussions as far as people mixing up ammo types. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there's been some things. Um, I, didn't, I didn't realize that when I got my Honey Badger at first because I've never had a 300 Blackout gun. I didn't know you just use AR mags and yeah. put 300 Blackout in it. But do not shoot five five six or two two three through a honey badger. No. Yeah. Well, I mean that you theoretically can as long as you don't have a suppressor on it. It's not good for the gun. Yeah. Oh, so you do the opposite. That's a little bit of a fucking that, issue. That's what but, I think. I meant to say, do not put three hundred blackout through your AR. <laughs> so, so you, you only need three hundred blackout magazines if you're using three hundred eight Winchester bullets, which are incorrect. If you're using three hundred blackout bullets, use regular M four magazines. And 300 blackout bullets are long enough to where it's not dangerous if you feed it in a 223. It won't chamber because the bullet's too long. Will it really? Okay. Yeah, because, you know, we're smart like that. And we're trying, you know, to for friendlies not to get killed by doing dumb shit. Trying. Service members doing dumb shit? It, it's, it's very rare, I uh, hear. Kind of like the police officers. They rarely do dumb things. Rarely. Yeah. But it's it rarely occasion. seen on the news. Yeah. <laughs> Female police officers never mess up, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> There's some of the best in the force. <laughs> Sam Hyde just said that. Did he? He's, he was like, "Don't get pulled over by a female police officer because oh. you're gonna be fucking dead or something like that." <laughs> so you will fucking die. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! Yeah. They just go so hard. They're gonna kill you. <laughs> He's They're not exactly you. fucking wrong either. Because I, I think his whole point is like, you are bigger than them. You are stronger than them. The only fucking last resort they have is a gun. Like, they will fucking <laughs> well, kill you. <laughs> I don't know. I just hit on female police officers when they pull me over. Yeah. Who gets upset with them? I did that too, and then I got shot. So that was, really? No, no. I showed her my wiener. Time. She shot me. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's ridiculous. You deserve to be shot for that little thing. <laughs> Bam. I want to ask. She's putting me out of my misery. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's literally the Thanos. Go to the light. I'm sorry, little one. <laughs> 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 perfectly balanced oh no wait, wait. how did um, you get your uh job opportunity with call of duty like what did they just reach out to you or yeah i've had this whole series of so my first career so i wanted to work in intelligence with the government and i failed miserably at that <laughs> and then <laughs> probably because there's not a lot of intelligence in the government <laughs> no i really wasn't good at my job <laughs> 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 
But no. Oh, these new codes. <laughs> put them here. <laughs> you just put like stacks of paper. What do you mean you lost the football? <laughs> <laughs> I have to shred things. <laughs> but I did. I did all the. So I had. I had a pretty. Um, by '97, I had a pretty good gun collection. I did all the gun sounds for Saving Private Ryan and Band of Brothers, that movie. Oh, Wait, fun. you did all the... Okay, first off, yeah. guys, just what is a good gun... A good gun collection to a lot of people is like 20 firearms. What is a good gun collection to you? Ooh, I don't know. Like in my, in my peak, in my prime, probably a couple thousand. I probably had 500 to 1,000 machine guns. When I did Private Ryan. <laughs> you had sex I, with Private Ryan? <laughs> yeah. his, but that's where he wins. No, his name's Francis Ryan. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I like to think that I've got a pretty cool gun collection. Then, like, you it's sit down cute. at the table. I'm like, man. Like, you, you see my shop and everything. Hey. And you're just like, oh, this is cool. Like, man, I remember when I started out. <laughs> he just called your gun collection cute. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm pretending that that's not like a fucking dagger in my gun. Damn soul. <laughs> well, thank you for reminding hey, me. There's Eli. always someone with better hair, a bigger dick, funnier, more money, bigger gun collection. Like when I, I wanted to have the biggest gun collection in the world, and I met Reed Knight and I went to his museum and I was like, oh, let me just sit the fuck back down. How many I, square feet is that one again? Knight's Army. A man. million square right. feet. Yeah. yeah. So he has 19,000 machine million? guns on display. Nine million? 19,000 machine guns on display. His. Square footage is a million square. Oh, a million. Feet. Okay, but you'll see Friday. No fucking hell. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm down. That'd be the perfect podcast. But you empty the warehouse and you just go at the front, and the backdrop is the million <laughs> backdrop. So it's nothing, just a bad. It just echo. Looks like for a, a podcast. <laughs> like, you're like hi, 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 hi. It's just like a SpaceX hangar. <laughs> exactly. I mean, basically, it's the old Tomahawk missile factory. Is yeah. Knight's armament. So it's big. What if they put us? A platform and a forklift lifted us up, and we do the podcast while driving around the facility. Oh, I, everyone I, can see all the. Guns. I think That'd we should we should do it. it. Drunk and tip it over. <laughs> <laughs> die. If they make a four seater McLaren, I think we should do that. I'll drive. You guys are podcasting, and I'll drive us around the tank museum drifting. Oh yeah, yeah. Why were you driving around the the tank museum there? A McLaren. <laughs> <laughs> it's an indoor tank museum, no, and no sometimes you drive golf carts. But if you're a baller, drive McLaren around. This is why I, I love talking to you because it humbles us so because, much. Like this is how we sound to normal fucking people. <laughs> and then we hang out with Kevin. Kevin's like, guys, you want to come over Friday? There's this big plan going. Oh, you can drive McLarens around a tank. And we're like. What like, about golf carts? We, we, we think we're fucking hot shit. And he's just like, hey, guys, you see my massive dick? Like, Come okay. on, don't, don't sell it short. <laughs> what's up, pores? That's what he called us. He, he sat down and called us up, pores. Yeah, he didn't even know our names. Fuck. He thought it was a server that cut our yard. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. In my house in Africa, it's kind of like this, but I have people cut it, the grass with scissors. I don't know if you're joking or not. I hate it. I know he's joking. Because it's funny. Because it's very ironic. How many shows how I ball? Can you can you discuss how many acres your humble abode is? Well, it doesn't belong to me. Well, my house belongs to me, but it's on a friend's property, and it's four hundred and eighty thousand acres. So it's in the eastern Cape of South Africa in the mountains. Four hundred and eighty thousand acres. Well, if it were an American so state, it would be this Rhode Island. Island. It's half the size of Rhode Island. Oh, yeah. So you. So I can drive Fuck around me. for a month um, and never go on the same road. Guys, we're yeah. leaving. We're going to <laughs> Africa. We love to unsubscribe so much. Patreon. <laughs> but you know what? Let's in Bubbly now. Do we? Well, <laughs> you know, when I was an up-and-comer like you guys, when I was young, <laughs> when I was young Son of a bitch! <laughs> I had these dreams, but then you realize it's like, well, women will steal all that shit from you and the government. <laughs> And, and so now it's just like I buy freedom. Unfathomably based. And, and <laughs> in Africa, I'm very free. And so there's a bunch of land, and I drive around, and I test stuff, and I shoot stuff, and have sundowners, and sometimes I pass out in the truck, and I come down the mountain in the morning. We, can we, when can we visit? Is, anytime you want. I go every other month. So I go in 10 days from now. You guys are welcome then. And in I 10 go days? Bro, month. it's Christmas. No, that's a good Christmas. Well, I mean, okay, you guys be slave to the cause, but I'm good. <laughs> I, I, Daddy's a pirate. I do what I want. No, I, yeah, no, I'm single with nothing going on, so uh, I'm, I'm down. I have yeah. no obligations. We can fucking just I'll pull, go. I'll pull my son out of school. 
<laughs> and we'll go to Africa. Yeah, we'll make your so content fun. for you. Come and do it. I have three guest cottages. Do you guys have places to stay? How big are the guest cottages? <laughs> Not the size of this He's house. He's looking at the house. <laughs> I, know, I, literally, 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 I was looking at the house. I was like, this motherfucker said cottage. He's like, well, this is more like a cardboard box. <laughs> no. <laughs> this, is, this is where the servants for the guest cottage stay. <laughs> like, like, seriously, I think probably a little bigger than the downstairs of this, each guest cottage. You have a living room, a fireplace, a bedroom, Kind of like a dressing room with a bathtub. Then you have a I had growing shower up. and bathroom. Yeah. yeah, a lot more than I had growing. <laughs> yeah. So they're nice. Like I wouldn't put you guys, you know, in a dump. So there's three, well, and then we have other of. places. <laughs> yeah, so you guys can come. God, that would be it's amazing. So I the, it oh. won't cost you anything. Like pay for your flight. Everything else is free. You stay with me. We can shoot stuff. It's beautiful. Oh, no. <laughs> Kevin, stop. <laughs> Kevin, no, we said no. <laughs> He's going to, no, stop. You're going to make me Africa. <laughs> <laughs> we come back. We just like. <laughs> we, we come back black. <laughs> just never address it ever. Yeah. We don't come back to fucking cornrows and shit. Just like, yep. I've never seen anyone with cornrows. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be the Brain first. Brain is racist. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Cody's like, uh-oh. Uh -oh. No, no, no. Maddie's already watching this episode like, you motherfucker. <laughs> fucking don't. Where stop. is he? Get him over. He's moving, Batty. Get him. <laughs> Idiot. He's, he's moving out of his furnace right now. <laughs> Which Dude, is, I saw somebody reply to that on Twitter. Or I saw you reply to somebody because uh, he said he was moving. Oh and yeah, I, the 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 guy's like, oh well, good. Maybe you'll have some place where you're not sweating out fucking Eli, Cody, and Brandon. And he literally replies like, "Go fuck yourself." <laughs> his 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 last or the house uh, we used to have the podcast in. It was Batty's spare room, and it was fucking hot as shit. It was during the summertime. Well, I don't so like that. It's 110 degrees in San Antonio, and then like I guess the, the homeowners had it like poorly insulated, and the AC wasn't that great. And we, we tried, were always sweating. By we, the yeah, we were just we were just sweating balls in this podcast. We had Goldberg on, and we're all just sitting there sweating. <laughs> like, Fuck, just walking. Like, oh, this is miserable. Well, I mean, <laughs> they oil themselves up already. That's true. Showing yeah, those Jesus. muscles off. <laughs> I fuck him up. <laughs> I can call Goldberg right now. We can get that. He's Bill, a come over here. Yeah, podcast, Bill. bitch. Best Bill. podcast ever. Kevin's talking shit. Just Who? Kevin gets suplexed by fucking Goldberg halfway Dude. through the goddamn episode. Well, bullshit. That shit's fake. Well, of course it's fake. <laughs> I think it That's would like still watching hurt. the wire and saying, like, I don't think this really happened. <laughs> well, Braun Strowman, Adam Shear, is, is a good friend and a hunting buddy of mine, and he. Makes Goldberg look small. He's like six He's nine, three thirty with a six pack. At one point, and so I fuck with him all the time. And you know, he was like a world strongman competitor. So I'm supposedly, I was going to Wisconsin to hunt with him and his world strongman competitor best friends this weekend. But we're going to the Knights Armament thing, and so it's like me and the three of them that all bench press like five hundred and fifty to six hundred and fifty pounds, <laughs> and, and I just jump on them every fucking chance I have. <laughs> <laughs> You're that Fuck friend. You. Oh, I am. And he'll just like pick me up and set me down. Like, stop. Just, just. you are cute, kissy. <laughs> boy. Boy. So Adam, yeah. Adam was supposed to, I think it was the first year of Gundy's. They were doing like some skit or whatever they were planning out. Uh, he was supposed to shove me through a table. Oh, he could. Oh, he absolutely could. We oh. both like showed oh. up, like, because we had both heard the plan, I guess, separately. We show up, we get there, we see the table, and he's like, I don't feel comfortable doing that. I'm like, good, because I don't feel comfortable with it either. It's just it's this like, table. <laughs> we will push you like, through. He, he's like, I thought you meant like it was like a breakaway table. Like, it's just a fucking folding table. And he's just like, You're gonna man, get I'm going to break this child. I'm like, yeah, 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 no, I'm good. It, he's a sweet guy. But, I mean, I fucked with him bad. Like, from here to that sofa, he's thrown me in the air before. He's like, stop fucking with me, dude. And I'm like, pussy. <laughs> You just poke like, the bear. No, I, <laughs> I just picture you like rotating. Alcohol is a hell of a drug. <laughs> the, the first time I met uh, Bill Goldberg, it was Robert O'Burst was with him. And like I knew Goldberg was big. And then Robert, Robert O'Burst standing next to him. Fucking ass. God damn, his, his head is like a, it's it's like a pumpkin. pumpkin. Yeah, he's got a huge pumpkin oh. head. And he's fucking sick. He's six nine or something like that, 400 pounds. Like, that was mm. fucking ridiculous, dude. Yeah. Dwarfs, those Goldberg. guys are crazy. Isn't there about to be like a strongman fight between like the mountain? They already did it. Did they? What? Didn't they? It was the mountain and um, 
Uh, Eddie, Eddie Hall? Eddie, yeah, yeah, I think so. I think Mountain Wind. Mountain's happen? been training for a while. Like, yeah, he, he, he fucking he lost a bunch of weight. I don't know. What's he's that? a big dude. Did they he already blessed, that fight? Hey, you know who the Mountain is? Oh, Game yeah, of Thrones. Yeah, he scared yeah. the shit out of me on Game of Thrones. You crushed that dude's little head? <laughs> 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 you, you, killed the man, you killed the Mandalorian. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. That's like, the timeline. Fuck, yeah. oh, man, he's been in Pedro Pascal. Yeah. He's doing a bunch of shit. He's been fucking everything. And now he's in, um. what's it called? Dude, he has all the nerd franchises because <clears throat> Game of Thrones, uh, Mandalorian, Wars, yeah. and now he's going into um, The Last of Us. Oh, is he? He's oh, the, yeah, yeah. He's Joel for The Last of Us. What's The Last of Us? Oh, yeah. He's like the main dude. Game. Oh, you've never heard it? Oh, um, it's like a survival it's zombie a game. kind of video game. Thor beat uh, Eddie Hall. Oh, okay. Yeah. By unanimous decision. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Eddie Hall. I know him. He's uh, bleeding out of his nose. The really thick, shorter guy. Yeah. 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 yeah he's he's one like really <clears> strong man like a bunch of times. Have yes, ever, he is. Have you ever seen like Thor's before and after pictures? Because he used to play basketball in like I think it was college or high school or something. He was this big around, but he was just tall. Have you seen his family when well, he's when the you, shortest kid? When you look at him, he, he doesn't. I mean, he doesn't look like Eddie Hall. Like yeah. Eddie Hall, it's like a like a fire hydrant. Yeah. <laughs> Like the mountain looks like he's a fucking tall, mountain. He's like, a goddamn mountain. Yeah, he looks like you know Grave Digger, who also played college basketball, and then they just put on some muscle. Like athletic. Gregor Clay, not Gregor Clay. Again, yeah. God, I cannot. When you look at Bourne's name, I don't even try to pronounce yeah, it. Yeah, all, all that Scandinavian bullshit. Yeah, it has a lot Bjorn. of question or whatever those are called. <laughs> yeah, like that's that's, that's Thor when he was a teenager playing basketball. Dude, like he still looks like he fuck you up. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he's thin, but yeah. Yeah, <coughs> that's yeah, his dad and his grandpa. grandpa. It's before he started eating fucking oh, six thousand calories a day. Because he's, yeah. he's like six. His dad and grandpa are just giant. Yeah, they're just monsters. Like, mm. imagine having to buy Genetics. every house custom because you. Yeah, need I think a it'd be horrible. Foot you know who there. I became friends with like twenty years ago? Is that Dikembe Mutombo? Hey, six Come nine. again? Thor six nine. <laughs> you don't yeah. in basketball? Oh, he's no. like seven, seven one. Is this an Africa thing? Well, he well, is African, yeah. but I wasn't okay. trying to be like fucking racist about it. He's just Why? asking about the country. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we were on a, we, we were on a flight together, and we were flying from Atlanta to L.A. And that's how I met him. But he actually lived only like two blocks from me in Atlanta, so we became friends and would hang out. And um, he had a size you twenty ran into an African twenty four. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> And bizarre. next you're going to say you ran into a Mexican in San Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. He had to sit like in, in, uh, on the aisle in first class and his legs would go beyond like the bathroom doors. And he, Dude, he I would size feel bad 24 for somebody like that. Like his Holy shoe fuck. was like this big. I, I, and I took pictures on that flight of his shoe and my flip flop. And you know, and I wear like you a asked, size 11. Right? No. Or were I, you just I like sneaking slapped him, in? him and took it. I was like, shut your face. Know your role. <laughs> But he's did you call him boy? Like, yeah. Yeah. Now who's the racist one? <laughs> but it was so know your role, it was so boy. <laughs> Kevin Brittingham, 2022. Q. And, and if he heard this, he would die laughing. This is this is where a red laser shows up on my chest <laughs> from your fucking PR guy. He, like. He's so cool. Like his parents were both college professors in Africa, and he speaks seven languages. That's Jesus. why he was the international spokesperson for like Adidas and the the NBA. And he's recruited tons of like African. Uh, athletes to the NBA. It's fucking hilarious. It's awesome. And oh my God, he would tell me stories. He's like, Kevin, you know how I met my wife. I was like, no, Dikembe, I do, do not know how you met. He's <laughs> like, I went to speak to the embassy and there was this beautiful African woman in the back. And at the end of my speech, he's like, all I could do was look at her the whole time. I was like, you, you are my wife now. <laughs> he's like, we've been married for 20 years. We have, we have Man, seven children. Kidding. Africa is a much simpler place. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I told you. I was like, God, that's awesome. I was like, what do you think about that now? He's like, I'm not sure it was the right thing. <laughs> I might have jumped gun. He's, like, yeah. <laughs> He's fucking hilarious. Oh, he was so cool. I loved him. Um, anyway, I moved. He moved. We're, we're not as close as we used to be. But he's a cool guy. Oh, that's a fucking ama- man. Mm. The life you've lived. You know, <laughs> like- Pri- Private Ryan, we won two Academy Awards for sound. I know. Oh, trust me. I know. Oh, that's that's cool why I'm fuck. like, more. Oh, fuck. You get me nerding out about like, sound design. I- like, the entire purpose of Saving Private Ryan was to give World War II vets PTSD. They did a good job. It's so fucking good. I went to the premiere, and there's a whole bunch of people that left in the beginning in the, the beach scene. I, I mean, heard, it I actually is heard fucking about intense. That. Like yeah. 
I mean, I was like, God damn, that's like, thank God I'm born now. That's not yeah. an easy movie to watch either. No, no. The part, the part that gets me is where the German like kills a dude with the, the knife or the bayonet when they're in the house and they, the the yeah. guys just sitting there watching shit bag or when yeah. their buddy gets lit up with the mg42 and they're just trying to like put pressure on it and he's just like mama mama like ah that's that's fucking <laughs> that sucks yeah. but the knife scene is intense and he walks by the guy and just like looks at him yeah i don't yeah that that movie was tough like band of brothers i think is probably the greatest movie series ever made i oh. love it like private ryan was incredible but that fucking thing's hard to watch yeah did but, they did what they slowed they shot that at, i want to say 20 frames a second or 18 or they 20. shot it at 20? Yeah, and, 18 and to 20. That's why it's a more choppy. If you go back and watch oh, it, yeah. it's a more, uh, so it's the sh shutter rate is set for that to give that visceral feel. Are they like that's frame what, skipping or like what's? Yeah, like that's Blair the Blair Witch it. Project. That's all. Uh -huh, know, and it makes yeah. it more intimate. It also adds more action when you're doing that. It's, if you're showing a hole punch in 60 frames, it's like, oh, you get to see all this. But in less frames, it's going to hear, hear, back that snap so it looks more violent uh, it looks a lot more violent while well, you've cut frames when you're doing a fight scene exactly yeah. and then the sound design going into that movie is like i mean i go back and watch that sh i fucking nerd out about that it's one of those movies where steven spielberg and the set design uh, you were you there or you mm. know i was gonna no, say i just did the sounds we did it actually at my ranch we don't you just the sound do not say just the sounds <laughs> <laughs> you won awards off the enemy <laughs> like <laughs> 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 Here's your twenty dollars. Put some respect on your own name. Here's twenty bucks. Be proud of that. But they spent like eighteen months collecting all the sound. Like the, I mean, it's amazing. Like the trouble that they went to. Like they would go, they would fly to like Sweden to do audio recordings of a boat on a dock that was the correct boat. Like all this stuff for eighteen months. Like Christ. it's the first time they've ever done that. And when I heard that, I didn't really realize it at the time. So it was Skywalker Sounds. It was Lucas and Spielberg. And what, when they were educating me, because our process was pretty intense, and they're telling me everything they had done in the year and a half leading up to it, because the gun sounds were the last thing that they did for the yep. movie. And when they were telling me everything they did, and I was like, huh. Because I don't actually particularly like war movies. Uh, uh, like for me, for our industry, I'm not, you know, I wasn't in the military, and I'm not, I, I don't love war movies. It's just, I'm, I, I just, I, I like guns and I like the technology. I like my, my niche in our industry, but I'm not crazy about our industry or I'm not like nuts about any of that stuff. But I went back and watched some of the older movies. Like I've never seen, I don't know, like name any of the Black like, Hawk Down. Well, yeah, I did the sounds for that too. I've seen that. But, Jesus fucking Christ! But like, don't well, sound disappointed and well, bored at the well, same time. <laughs> yeah, motherfucker, yeah. I'll do that one. <laughs> and, and Pearl Harbor, but I'm not proud of that one. That one sucks. But the sounds are good. But um, like the movies before, uh, like the older, like my son's all into World War II and Vietnam movies. Like I, I'm not particularly into them. I don't watch them. But I went back and watched some of them to listen to the sounds, and I was like, oh, god damn, those are horrible. Especially the like, older ones. They're, they they're, really they're terrible. Well, well, Private Ryan was the first one where it's legit, and it really is. When I watched it and I watched all these older ones, I was like, oh, this is, yeah, this is really great. And it was yeah. super intense as a result of the sounds. I was clipping in a, uh, for one of like the reels on Instagram like uh, of just me shooting my M60. I was going to cut back to the original Rambo First Blood. And I ended up going First Blood Part Two. That's probably somebody going because, choo, 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 choo. Oh, dude, First Blood. The the sound of the M60 was literally embarrassing. They don't have the depth to it. A lot of this, like it, it, it's go back and watch it. Like it is so fucking bad. Like it, it sounds like you clip arted a fucking sound effect into that that mm, film. It's probably what well, happened. Could we throw that up here right now? Ha! Weird. I forget. You, you guys... have an editor. That's super easy. <laughs> You guys use one of those services, or it's just like your guy? We have a guy. Yeah, yeah. we have a guy. He's fucking amazing. We Fluck, you're amazing. We well, but can we get, oh, also, everyone, give uh, Fluck in the comments. Uh, tell him congrats for his new baby, because it's a month. A month. Congrats Two on months? your yeah, cum like, trophy. Your cum yeah. trophy. <laughs> Say cum trophy in the, the comments trophy below. In the chat. <laughs> <laughs> his wife's going to be like, God damn it. <laughs> get a new job. <laughs> These guys, they're going nowhere. <laughs> She's pinch, pinching her neck. <laughs> <laughs> Mother.
Fucking god damn it. No, the, um, Look at what our boss is saying. <laughs> <laughs> she, he's all proud. <laughs> Reading the comments on the big screen. He's scrolling through. He's Dude, like, there's... yeah, that was my comment. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Follow him on Twitch. Yeah. <laughs> Before we even start this ad read, this is the, the ghost bed pillows. Like Batty's saying right now, we want more because these things ghost are. Ghost bed, send me another pillow. Bros, for reals though. Send this, me a mattress. It feels so comfortable. You like toss your trash pillows. Now, the second my head hits something, I know it's not right. I'm like, uh, Sav, I don't want your shitty ass pillow from Walmart. These though, it's cool. Dude, have you, do you put yours in a pillowcase? Oh yeah. Don't, don't. Wait, what? That's the fucking case. Wait, the pillow's real? inside. It's got a zipper. What? You, you use the, the outside. It's legitimately like cooling as fuck. Really? What? Bro, I'm telling you, just, just rock that shit. Raw dog your pillow, bro. So nice. Oh, yeah. I'll hold it up here. All right. Every mattress has a 20 year warranty. Some even have a 25 year warranty. You can even try it out for 101 nights. If you don't like it, you can send it back. No hard feelings. Uh, who does that? Uh, perhaps Ghost Bed? Is it Ghost Bed? <laughs> Boo! The, the, the pillows you've been talking about this entire time. One of our favorite parts about Ghost Bed is that each mattress has cooling technology, pillows too. So that if you get hot at night, like we do here in Texas, because oh boy, it's warm, these things are a lifesaver. Fuck. Now insert your head in the wide. Do that last part. Eli, I've got you, buddy. Batty, thanks for having me here, by the way, guys. I'm totally here. Don't look under the table. Listen, Ghostbed also offers bundles so you can get everything that you need, making it really easy to think about. Just simply go and pick one of their four mattresses and then pick your bundle. Whether you're choosing just a mattress and a frame or maybe you want it all, like the cooling sheets and pillows, Ghostbed's going to help make sure that you get the best bang for your buck. Right now, Ghostbed is offering 30% off of Everything if you use code unsubscribe. That is the full word. It's upside unsubscribe. Down. You just you want to fix that? Perfect. Now they can read. These prices are <laughs> scary. Boo. That was awful. With sound design, though, it's crazy when you see um a lot of people don't realize they think it's all filmed there and then it's like they're just oh. filming with a mic and it's like you're just walking and they hear the gun shooting. I and you're thought like, the same thing. No, no, no. It's like sound on sound on sound. Like you're building fucking like a hundred yeah. layers of audio. Because well, we did every, it was pretty intense. So it's a couple weeks. Um, just and I don't know how many guns, probably like 50 guns if I had to guess. But a couple weeks, you know, like 12 to 16 hour days to you're recording at the muzzle, you're recording at the breach, you're recording the shells hitting the ground. Shit. Then we'd put down plywood, then we'd do it on concrete, then we'd Dirt, do it on concrete. water, and then the bullet, bullet hits bullet on impact. Stuff. So yeah. everything, we would shoot meat, I would kill animals, we would shoot those, we'd shoot mud, dirt, rock, like everything, still everything possible. But it shows. That's the thing. Like you watch that yeah. movie and it fucking shows. Cuz like even at like as you know, serial gun addicts or whatever, like you watch that movie and you listen to it and you just, you watch it, especially that opening scene. Oh, you have no intense. fucking complaints. It's still like completely immersive as somebody who knows, you know, basically all those fucking guns. You still watch it. You're like, holy fuck. That, this could be oh. like filmed on Normandy. Like that, it, that it's good. It's scary as fuck. Have, have you guys ever seen the <laughs> Conicarn videos? Oh, dude, the Conicarn was Carnicon, like, the oh. LMG video. Trey and I have, you haven't? Oh my, What's oh, dude, I, oh my God. What you, the fuck? You need to do some goddamn homework. All right, my, I'm gonna fix a I'm drink like, and I'm I gonna show you. Trey and I, my brother in Christ, this is literally I like you. I got you. Is this well, like two girls, one cup? Oh, go pilot. No, uh, no. Car, but, so, but car, Trey and I are in the LMG video as helicopter pilots. Yeah, that's what one of the first things I asked you when we first like started oh, hanging out here. I'm like, ah. dude, I've got to know. Was that you in the Carnica yeah. video? Yeah, yeah. Those videos, my man set the stage for that shit. He was so far ahead. All right. It's not too late for you to leave. Speaking of sons. <laughs> <laughs> so I heard about you. My son, who was a total asshole, and I hated him, so I sent him to boarding school. No, <laughs> not, not true. My, my son had many executive functioning issues. And uh, so trying to get him remediation where he didn't have to live with me forever and could have his own independent life, sent him to boarding school in Vermont. And um, Do you sound autistic, too? Yeah, a little bit. And so... <laughs> <laughs> 
Mine really is. Oh, really? No, yeah, my, mine's not super. But he he's super autistic. Mine's like lame autistic. But <laughs> <laughs> he's stolen valor. <laughs> yeah, he's stolen he's stolen valor. valor autistic. He's cool as fuck. <laughs> he walks no. around with a puzzle piece on his chest. <laughs> but he, he, does your son cast spells? <laughs> <laughs> he does. He does. <laughs> <laughs> but he's. <laughs> He has <laughs> one podcast. I thought we could go one podcast without autism jokes. Yeah, Jesus fucking right. Christ. All right. All right. But he, he has, um, <laughs> he's dyslexic and has dysgraphia and dyscalculia. And he's, yeah, he's on the spectrum. But so I went through 10 years of remediation, which cost a fortune. I know. Trust me. We <laughs> okay. So, so he went to boarding school for a few years and it was this international boarding school in Vermont. And that's where, I realized how brilliant the uh, putting the honey badger in Call of Duty was because there was a Chinese kid that came there who was dyslexic. He came with a translator because he didn't speak English. And he knew what the honey badger was. The bunny hunter? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Has your. They don't have the R's. You got so. the bunny hunter? Oh, my God. You're fine. <laughs> Kevin. Kevin, me so cute. Oh, my God. He make the honey badger feel good. Cold. Okay. That's hitting close to home. <laughs> <laughs> I am Asian. Can't make accent. You know? yeah. And I'm just over here like wanting to like, <laughs> can't, can't <do> it. <laughs> the kid in class yes. <laughs> don't be racist on air oh my god Father. honey why'd you <laughs> uh, <laughs> fuck I don't even know where I was uh, the, the Asian kid liked the honey I don't right? know what that means so, <laughs> oh, no, so my son. Yeah. So my son. So I think it was actually a Norwegian kid that he was roommates with, who followed you, and my son started watching with him. It's like an international yeah. fucking boarding school. Like it is. I, I'm seriously international. Every country. Name a country. There was probably a kid there. Anyway, Africa. Yeah, like Ethiopia. Ethiopia. there were even African continent. kids there. <laughs> there was there was one. His roommate one year was a kid from Zimbabwe who was white. But yeah, it, it, every fucking country. We Wait, it's Zimbabwe now. It, do, Rhodesia. Do we? Do we? Yeah, what? thank you. Okay. Yeah. But he's a white Much kid better. from Zimbabwe? So you had a Rhodesian there? Yeah. yeah. Well, he was more Zimbabwe and they were pretty hippie. His parents went there after, you know, revolution. Mm. The cool <laughs> stuff. So, uh, <laughs> anyhow. Anyway, fucking so, posers. <laughs> <laughs> I know, they were. So <laughs> Stolen <I>, Valor <laughs> fucking <yes>. Rhodesian. <laughs> <laughs> you don't deserve those fucking shorts. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but it's why I'm kind of partial to it, especially being in South Africa now. There's like a bunch of expats there that were in the police and military and their PHs now and they're friends of mine. Anyway, so all there. So people think in South Africa that happened, but it, it didn't. In Rhodesia, like you were white, you lost your farm and your land and, you know, you got shot or you left, period. And their so, country is doing so much better now because yeah, of Yeah, totally. There are no jobs, even in the mines, and uh, they're all poor as hell and they have to sneak into South Africa for work. So it yeah. worked out great for them. No, I, I, I'm, I'm glad to see them reap the fruits of their success. <laughs> <laughs> so anyhow, so my son started watching your videos and he comes home. So I would go every Wednesday and then every Friday afternoon or Saturday morning to see him. It's two and a half hours away. And I would either, I brought him home every other weekend and every other weekend I would stay there and for the day and I'd take the kids do shit, his homies. And uh, so that's when he started watching your videos. And so that's uh, so what I was saying. My son, we go to the White House for Christmas. He's like, you know, <laughs> we have like Don J Jr. just did my podcast. He's at the house. Oh, my, no shit. That's my right. son didn't even come home to see him. And they're friends. And so like my buddy Adam, who is Braun Strowman, WWE, who's always like from the time my son's six years old, is like, we go to the events when they're in town. We sit ringside. He picks my son up after the match. All the things my son's like. Like any celebrity that I know, nothing. Fucking donut operator. <laughs> my son is like the coolest motherfucker ever to live, Dad. Have you watched these videos? And so we come home on the weekends. We watch these videos. And I was like, God damn, that's pretty funny. That's pretty good. So when you sent us, when I came here. So what you're back, telling me is that your son is autistic and racist. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, he, he, yeah, he hates white people. He will. So, <laughs> so like when, he'll fit in quite I, well. I was here last time and you sent shirts and hats 
it was like it was like I introduced my son. I don't I didn't know who to like the biggest celebrity in the entire world. My son was so excited. And it, it was like so dumb to me. I was like, he yeah, has it. <laughs> no, but thank you so much. You sent him all these shirts and hats. He was so excited. I took one hat and one shirt, and my son looked at me like this. <laughs> he was so pissed. I was like, motherfucker, he sent like six. I took one. Oh, so anyway, thank you very much. So my son and I, so I started doing this art where I cut these stencils out because, you know, I'm kind of a lonely guy, and I'm at home at night, and, you know, I'm very artistic and autistic. And, and <laughs> come fucking art hang out with us. Yeah, Jesus dude. Christ. Well, I should. So I cut these stencils out and then I do the canvas and then I go out to the range and I shoot these spray cans and I start doing the stuff and it sprays paint. And so, anyway, you told me your favorite gun was the MP7. Well, I have one because I'm a baller and that's what we do. And so my son and I, I told him that. And I was like, <laughs> that, was, that, was like the, that was the Kanye, like, yo, my life's dope and I do dope shit. Yeah. <laughs> my life is dope and I do dope shit. And so my son is like, okay, let's get the MP7. We'll go do it. So it's, this is ammo that SEAL Team 6 gave me for the MP7. We did silencers for them for their MP7s. And so my son and I went and did this art for you. He was so excited. Wait, this is the he ammo to send you from? Some. Seal Team Six. This is the forty grain. <laughs> Brent is uh, really watching it, that. It's, it's all. Really right. was. I, was, I just watched Brent's eyes just yeah. track. Brent's <laughs> address is on this box. <laughs> you, you sent it to my house, yeah. and like I'm like just watching Cody like kind of fumble with this cardboard box. Dude, I'm, like, I'm just watching your yeah. eyes. Your eyes so like, guys, if you can send your panties to Brandon's address, <laughs> which you saw on the screen right now, that'd be awesome. Yeah, he fuck, loves go ahead guy and fucking panties. put that up. Yeah. <laughs> We'll so my, my son and I did this art where we set up the paint cans, spray cans, because he's a gra graffiti artist or a hoodlum or a criminal, and uh, he does a lot of graffiti. If you need a knife. And so I got the MP7 out with our silencer, which was the one we developed for Seal Team 6, and for them to kill people, I'm mainly terrorist. And <laughs> mainly. <laughs> I'm kidding. 90% uh, terrorist. Only terrorist. A and, other people, uh, but yeah. So we took a black canvas, and my son picked the paint colors, and uh, I, I did a stencil of the MP7, oh, and we shit. shot the cans. And oh, this is it's like my favorite fucking eighties outrun colors. Yeah, that is fucking red. That is fucking dope. Yeah. So it's a black canvas, and we shot uh, all those different colors, and we kind of moved the stencil a little bit every time between to create that. Did shrapnel and go then, through one portion of it? Because that's even yeah, more it looks like a bullet hole. That's yeah. a bullet hole. Right, 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 right. <laughs> we got a whole bullet hole. Because we're, do because we're dope about. and we do dope shit. Yeah, dude, that's awesome. Yeah, Donut, thank you for swag you sent us. Uh, thank you for the swag you sent you and my, me and my boy. We made you some art of your favorite gun using your favorite gun. Oh, they made MP7 art with an MP7. Yo, dog, oh, I yeah. heard you like MP7s. Oh. It's my favorite thing ever, dude. Yeah, so that's got the original. Everything's original. And the silencer and flash hire that we made for them for the Bin Laden raid, actually. And then it actually has a bullet hole from when we were doing some of the colors. Did they use MP7s in the Bin Laden raid? Yeah, they were some. No shit. I didn't yeah, know we that. did. Yeah, so we did. Uh, so you got Cody that Zero made the actual MP7. Yeah, you I gave so you kind. the MP7. Dude, yeah. Cody would shoot. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, but I hope you like it. But we did it with the MP7. Oh, so My son dope. shot it. That's so fucking cool, man. And, I love the colors. And I cut the stencil out uh, the night before just with a poster board and a razor blade. And uh, from my MP7, and uh, that's it. Yeah, so hopefully you like it. My son was super stoked on it. <laughs> oh, my man. Yeah. That's so fucking cool, man. So that's cool. You now have the flu. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for giving me the gay. Now you're sick. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I was fucking fell. <laughs> Not prepared for that. We would hang out so much if you moved here. <laughs> like, uh oh. I like based Kevin. <laughs> well, you based. know, Daddy's a pirate and a Rolling Stone, so I do whatever I want. You know, when you have a personal attorney, you just get out of trouble. <laughs> it's your friend. It's your friend. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the globalists don't want you to know this, but as long as you have a good attorney, you can do whatever you want. Uh, which he did not have, apparently. Mm. Sometimes, no. So apparently when we go to Africa, we can have a fanny pack full of $20 bills and do anything we want to do. Oh, Absolutely. Right. Yeah, because we made that $20 joke earlier. I don't, I, think, I don't think we've explained that to the I'll, audience. I'll even supply the $20 bills because, like, I don't know, it'd probably be like 1000 bucks amongst us. That, it, it, at least. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh. real quick. So oh, That's 50 fuck-ups. 
So <laughs> at lunch, we were having a fan, we we're having a fantastic lunch, and uh, Kevin's like the corruption in South Africa is so low. It's a great start. It's a great start. Corruption at an all time low. For twenty dollars, I, I misspoke. <laughs> well, 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 I, I just wanted, like, I'm like I, I thought you were talking about like actual corruption, and then I realized you were talking about the barrier to entry <laughs> yeah. on corruption That's is what so I fucking low. Like, yeah, you fucking shoot a guy, maybe it's a hundred bucks. Like, <laughs> and we're like, wait, hold up. He's like, yeah, twenty dollars, you get out of most everything. It's like. Okay, wait, hold up. Barrier cor- corruption is high. It's just the cost. People is think about, like, in the in the United States, they're like, "Well, rich people run everything." But like, you don't understand. In the third world, like being rich is literally a fucking superpower. <gasps> yeah, I mean, I I think the oh, <laughs> this oh. is the perfect transition. So, Kevin, this is the bit I wasn't telling you about during <laughs> breakfast. So we have the offenders. We are all superheroes. Oh, you have yeah? to pick a superpower. And then we choose the offset. Now you're like, oh, that sounds like fucking dope. Why are they called the offenders? Cody, what's your superpower? I can fly, but I have to scream racial slurs while I fly. <laughs> or I just fall out of the sky. Or if he's thinking racist thoughts, he'll start to levitate start, yeah, wildly. Kind of like so now, we have that joke. Huh. Like racist, racist shit happens. He'll just start like levitating yeah. out of his chair. So a fire. Wait, or, how do you feel about this one? I love it because okay. he can't go to my neighborhood to <laughs> save people. <laughs> it's like it's a Section 8 housing community is burning. Oh, I, can't, I can't go no, save no, them. No, 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 <laughs> he's just like, no, I'm walking up with a ladder. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I got these guys. Nope. <laughs> Just pull this out. Oh, 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 Brandon, what's yours? So um, <laughs> I fucking perpetually kill myself. However, that's a wait, superpower. We, I can never die. How do we say this without getting demonetized? Okay. I give myself the big sleep, but <laughs> I can't actually permanently die. So I wake up not remembering like how or why. Yeah, so but he yeah. has his extra corpse oh yeah letter. your body stays there yeah oh does it does oh, it forever yeah. yeah so his okay. corpse will stay wherever he slept well, what, night. what's yours <laughs> well we just we read oh what was, was my the new brown one? streak but what's the new one fuck oh no so, yeah, i remember it was the uh the crime cock oh I'm yeah <laughs> so his, his original <laughs> one <laughs> is <laughs> he's, he's got he's squilled. got flash super speed for his original one but he shits Anytime he wants to run fast, so it's uncontrollable diarrhea. What was the crown? Crime, crime cuck crime was cuck? I can I am a still the speed of light where I'm like and I show up to a crime. I have a five minute oh. cooldown period where I can't interact with anything, <laughs> so I just watch the crime happen for five minutes. Where I'm like, I'm sorry, man, I can't stop him. So I'm like, just like just invisible. Some, some brutal graping is going on. You're just like, oh, <laughs> just distracting him. <laughs> Can't call the cops. Oh. Like my phone just keeps falling through my hands. I'm like, no. <laughs> so these are all like terrible dreams we've all had. Yes. So Probably, someone's yeah. attacking us. I have my gun. I'm like, oh, it's a 88 pound trigger pull. <laughs> Dude, I have the thing in my dreams where like my guns don't like they, they'll fire one round and then not cycle. Yeah. And like I that that's I think that's we all have those. I don't know why. It's, a, it's all some version of that. What's your superpower, though? Other than being Batman right now. Because right now, your superpower is I'm rich. <laughs> are, are, are you actually Batman? Wait, we, no one's picked that superpower yet. Yeah. We can choose the offset. I, I think it has to be that I've got a giant dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know, Kevin. <laughs> you keep seen it. showing us. But it requires a lot of fuel. <laughs> I don't know. That's your downside. It requires a lot of fuel. Oh, yeah. That's actually a perfect offset. I've got a giant dick. But not enough blood in my body to fill it. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, so I'm we have late. to wait. Like, Mom, I'm Kevin's <laughs> he's like, I, I'm perpetually flaccid. Like, <laughs> he just nah. falls on his face. Yeah, when nah. <laughs> That's what I love. It's like, honey, I'm ready for. <laughs> Your body goes <laughs> Dick's hard but He doesn't remember sex anytime <laughs> This is offset He's, he's like, like, not okay. again You're That's a problem, no bags and shit before you You're like, alright, I'm ready uh, <laughs> I like how you don't save anyone You just have a huge dick <laughs> You're part of our crew of superheroes I mean, I'm trying to save, you know, dissatisfied women Yeah <laughs> 
Cody's flying around. Brandon's <laughs> offing himself. Somebody's got to take care of those ladies. <laughs> You're Let's fucking go. people. <laughs> I'm just like, hey, girl, Let's what's go. up? Nude. Your dude's <laughs> going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Shout to Rachel. Yeah. It's hard passes Shout. out. Shouts a racial slur off self. <laughs> the people are saying, oh. the people are saying like, why? 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 Are they, why are they here? Why are they just saying happen? anything? What just happened? Uh, this is just in bad news. And he like can't fucking stop any of it. Like, no, no, stop it. No. <laughs> Trying to hit the stop record buttons on camera. Just absolute chaos. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like fucking Deadpool 2 when they, when they drop yeah, in. Yeah, 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 you yeah, get that, that cool like guy. split second Brad Pitt cameo. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. my god, I want to do an offender seat because I could BFX compass technically since I have the right. If we're all facing one way, I can just do the um the uh, the uh during that final fight of uh not the offenders. What is it called? The Avengers. Yeah. The final fight sequence cuz I can In have the original Cap way original movie. Yeah. Or uh, cuz okay. I can do yeah. Avengers and then just compass into the blues where it's just like nothing's happening. It's just <laughs> exactly as we described. Mm. It's just like a purse snatching going on. Yeah. We all like <laughs> assemble. Push, push, all yeah. doing cool guy landings. <laughs> <laughs> and then it goes really <laughs> south <laughs> really fast. Oh, here's no. <laughs> <laughs> As he flies off into space. I just tripod landing. It's like, <laughs> yeah, you're just laying like your arms are crossed. Yeah. Two feet back, one forward, and then you pass out of it instantly. It's like the superhero landing, but it's just like your cock. <laughs> no, it's even better because his dick has to be hard for that landing. So he's like, he his, but his body's limp. So it's just the upper, though. It's like, <laughs> but it's, a, it's that half second comedic beat. Just. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he here again? Oh, he's really cool. He likes his jokes. <laughs> he really likes having sex with girls. <laughs> I like girls. They're cool. <laughs> Welcome to the offenders. Now you are part of the crew. <laughs> I love it. I like you. you what about even try we just a superpower? Too. Yeah, we're just I'm, like you know what? He's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> he's like a, literally. Get, what's Deadpool. his name? What's his name? The Ted. Like big dick man doesn't really work. Like, <laughs> uh, doesn't it? I mean, superhero <laughs> name. What was the yeah. uh, Deadpool's Ted, the average guy? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. just like the totally normal, like yeah, Do it was like Ron Swanson or something. Almost. Yeah, it's like oh, we're hiring. He's just really cool. Yeah, <laughs> or Dennis. Wait, wait. <laughs> it's like, Hi, Batty. Do you like sex stuff? I do too, with the opposite sex sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> With all the bad news about these prices these days, it's nice to know that Adam and Eve is still offering the best deal. What kind of deal, Eli? You're talking about adamandeve.com. Get 50% off plus free shipping. That's 50% off an adventurous new toy. How adventurous? That's the dildo. Massive. You see that mushroom behind you? Turn around. Fuck. Punch in. That could be a toy that could insert inside you, and it could be 50% off. I like 50% off. Be adventurous, maybe some slippery lube, or almost anything else you desire. What is your desires, buddy? Butt plugs. Me too. Speaking of which, <laughs> that mushroom. <laughs> Our podcast listeners will get 50% off almost any item. And what's the code? Uh, the code is just use unsub at checkout and you'll get 50% off of any of your sex toys and free shipping. Just use, just use code unsub at checkout and you'll get 50% off. Fuck, that's just in case I can't say sex. I'm not sure. And free shipping. Doesn't matter what you choose. All will be packaged and sent discreetly to your front door. Man, that would be a weird. It's just a giant box painted black. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of wish, like, what if we had like a clear box? Like, I want, I want just tape on the. I want people to see the fucked up shit I'm buying. Because that, what better way to meet your neighbors than like, yeah, box of dildos. And it's you, a, like a display case. I, I would like love that. a display case of chipped. Can we, can we build a display <laughs> case of dildos over there? I love that. Like instead of a fridge, what if we just uh, put they, dildos? <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, I like to keep my dildos chilled. It's one of the, the rooms. Mm -hmm. We don't know mm -hmm. why. Uh, not only will you save money on gas, movies, and date night dinners out, but 
<laughs> this is the item that will continue to save you money, deliver tons of fun and satisfaction. So go to adamandeve.com, select any item, and then use code UNSUB, U-N-S-U-B. This is an exclusive offer specific to this podcast, so make sure you support our show and use the code UNSUB to get you not just the 50% off, but also 100% free shipping. Code UNSUB. Go to Yo, Imagine Adam. ordering like a full, like a box, like a big old box of dildos, butt plugs, fucking just every, like cock rings. No, a sex Free doll. shipping. Just <laughs> in full display. Adam and can you make sex dolls of me and Eli? <laughs> But don't wrap them when they ship. <laughs> I want it delivered with it's just, just, a just like, <laughs> yeah. and I'm all rubbery just showing up at the door. <laughs> so go to adamandeve.com right now and use code on sub. Bam! Who wants better sex? Us. I don't know why. Yeah. Us. Right, Fluck? <laughs> Can, I want to ask some questions. Okay. All right. All right. All right so. I'm going to test you guys. Oh. Eli, what's your favorite gun? My favorite? Mm. Oh, man. These are actually... Why? 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 I'm not used to this. Why is this the awkward moment for me? My guests don't ask questions. Because I'm going to call Big you Dick out. <laughs> That's his nickname. Big Dick Daddy. We hate him. He's just got BDD on the fucking... <laughs> I'm going to call you out for having bad taste in guns. I'm a punk ass bitch. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, well, the honey badger. Oh, my God, I've got it. Oh, I've got his name. <laughs> I've got his name. We were saying he's Batman, right? Yeah. Badman. Bat oh. Big ass dick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, go back what, what, to fellatio. Okay. No, okay, what's Eli, your favorite uh, gun? No, uh, I'll, I'll get mine. I'll, uh, I'll no, mine. you already said yours. No, it was mine perfect. was lying. Right, he was joking, here. obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a shit about that gun. <laughs> God damn it. Fuck you guys. <laughs> fucking hate podcast. I hate you guys. YouTube is stupid. I'm going home to my 400 fucking yeah. thousand acre ranch. Fuck you all. <laughs> yeah, he's like, goodbye, pores. He just walks <laughs> off with her bottle of makers. <laughs> <laughs> with his jet, his jet pack. Yeah, his he jet pack. Fucking... Where did he have that? <laughs> Weird. When you're best friends with Elon, you'll have one too. <laughs> <laughs> he leaves two holes just through the roof. <laughs> Oh, if I could, <laughs> God damn it, I would right now. <laughs> All right. So so what is it really? Not the honey badger. Well, now you're lying. I know. Well, it depends. Are we doing long range? And anything you, you just have to name one. I'm not. Don't lead a horse to water. Why? Well, you tell me what if you want. If the horse is dehydrated, my brother in Christ, you probably should. Yeah. Get your horse to fish. It'll my horse is alive. Then he'll drink right. when he's <laughs> thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> I was, it was good. Oh, he just snotted right on himself. I, am not, I, am not, I was not fucking prepared for that. That was great. You teach a horse to fish. You teach a horse to, to fish and Brandon will snot all over himself. The horse Pretty has to be sitting like a person on the pond. Like, I know. It's like one of those. Fishing. I know. It's one of those. It, 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 it's like Bojack Horseman. Like, yeah. <laughs> Holy oh. fuck! Did you do that on purpose? Yes, I did <laughs> okay, that on I was like, I, that. Fuck. That was kind of gold right there. All right, Dila. I'm sorry that one got me. Oh man, fucking favorite gun. Okay, favorite gun. Can I do a pistol and a rifle? Oh, if you're a punk ass bitch. If I'm a punk ass, oh fucking well, yeah. All right, done yeah. Okay, and done. pistol and rifle. I really love my DVC open. <clears throat> what the fuck is that? The uh, STI Dill staccato now DVC open. Okay. It's a race gun. It's their, so a 20, whatever they call them. Yeah, 2011. It's their, just their super. Yeah, I like those. They're cool. They're, they're cool. And then my. um, Really liking my SRS covert. What's that? The Desert Tech SRS covert. Oh, oh my oh, God. God. Eli's stock just dropped. Plummeted. Oh my God! It's like Elon smoking weed on. It's Joe my Rogan. bolt. It's my right, bolt right now. Let, let's okay. Hear it. We, do we have some beef with a uh, Desert Tech? Wait, no, wait, wait. I okay, just have for... a beef with bad science and design. <laughs> <laughs> my bedside like... gun is. <laughs> oh no, no no no! You're too late. <laughs> no, I still I stand by my oh, decision. Oh, bull pups are so cool. Ergonomics, trigger pull, they're all Hold great. On, I'm sorry. Do you, do you hate bull pups too? 
I just hate heavy, dumb shit. Like, I don't like big, fat bitches. It's just who I am. It's a bolt gun. Oh, yeah. Okay. So she's manually operated. I got to open it up. <laughs> so, got it. <laughs> All right, so we're going to move along. <laughs> Eli, you're cute. I, just, I, just said, I don't know if you ever saw this tweet that I did. No, I, I don't have the tweeter. Wait, is that well, a, I don't have my glasses bed, either. Like, that's my bedside gun? What's oh, the, it what's is the is suppressor on that? What's the suppressor on that? Why don't you have it on it's Instagram suppressor. and tag me? Well, I know, but what one is that? Uh, it's the, the Thunder Chicken. Thunder Chicken. Yeah. Ooh. My son named all those. Oh, you have a bed... Wait, is your bedside the... Do you have a bedside... Oh, we both have same bedsides. Okay, never mind. That's a, literally my bedside. Oh, so it, you guys can't be together now. Yeah. Well, we could. It'd be well, way cute. No, that, that's the no, joke. It's like that. this is the same bedside. Like <laughs> <week ago. laughs> We're Twitter, just like, know sleeping on each other. Twitter's <laughs> awesome right now. It is? Yeah, Twitter's really I don't know how to use it. Twitter is All right, I'm going to put some more. Dude, I got 9,000 likes. People just like honey badger. Honey badgers on the bedside. That's it. Oh, Twitter. Twitter's a different game. Dude, that's Especially awesome. when you just say I didn't know you even had one. Time. Yeah. <laughs> Come build one. I didn't know you had one. You like it? You ever shot anybody with it? I haven't shot anybody, but I'm that's why it's by my bed. I want <laughs> if, to. If you're gonna use it, Barnes 110. We tested that. What, what's, what, things? What, what's that? The Barnes 110 bullet. Projector. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. I got I subs. I don't know what subs I have in it right now. Supersonic, the Barnes 110. I mean, you could kill a fucking woolly mammoth. I'm just saying. Those aren't trying to rob my house. Usually <laughs> Mexicans. Uh, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin don't know. Dug up a woolly mammoth corpse, brought it back to life, and then shot it because he could. On they needed it for the movie 10,000 BC. Because <laughs> um, <laughs> that ball. What does it sound like when a woolly mammoth flesh is impacted with a uh, Barnes one fifty? You're like John, you're like John Hammond, where it's Jurassic Park, but you just get to shoot extinct animals. No, no, like, this, bam! This, bam! This, oh my god! I promise would, you, not only would that be more, no, pro- you guys that would are be all more wrong. profitable, and this, it wouldn't have gotten out of hand. This is what it sounds like. <laughs> cha-ching, 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 cha-ching. God, that's what it sounds like. I just picture, welcome to Jurassic Park. We're just mowing him down with his mini birds. Dr. Dr. Crab, my, my dear Dr. Crab. Welcome oh, so, to Jurassic Park. Dude, there's like, <laughs> there's 12 scientists in the fucking lab coast. Like, <laughs> just clapping for oh, them. Kevin, excellent job. Excellent, excellent. You, 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 Lord, have, Kevin. A, you have a T-Rex? No, we, we had a T-Rex. <laughs> you have a T-Rex. <laughs> All right, so the honey badger, obviously good, great choice. Not good choice. Great choice. And what's a great choice? The honey badger, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> and you have a favorite handgun. Fluck mute mic yeah. too. <laughs> only only because it's in my favorite anime, the Jericho. Um <laughs> Is it forty one Magnum? No, no, it's the nine millimeter Jericho. Yeah, uh, Jericho uh, forty one action nine, express. Nine, nine, nine four two one? Nine four one? I don't Wait, even, I don't even know what we're talking oh, about. Oh, man. All right, well, God bless you. I don't remember. I, I mean, God, I don't, I don't CCW. I want to say it's a 941. You, you get a pass because the Honey Badger. Okay, <laughs> Mr. AK-47. Yeah. Your favorite guns? Yeah. Well, mine's pretty fucking easy. Uh, it rhymes with so AK-47. <laughs> it rhymes with Shmore Mom. <laughs> yeah. yeah, my favorite thing to use, Shmore Mom. Um, <laughs> no, the... Uh, Obviously, the AK platform is a very special like spot in my heart. But if you had to like pull me outside of the AK platform as a whole, I'm really enjoying the Scar 17. I oh, really that's like that good. Gun. What about a handgun? Handgun. Um, I well, my EDC is either a Glock 19 or a Glock 43X. So I that's what I carry is 43X. 43X, dude. I love. But it. we like, can't the talk about this on this podcast. Right? So no. you can talk about this. Oh, we can. Yeah. Forty three. Yeah, so yeah we because about my guns. eyes have gone, and because I'm about to turn forty nine, I haven't gotten the uh, surgery yet. So, like so I have to use the red dot. But um, Talon Sai, who's a yeah. YouTuber, yeah. he's a great friend of mine. I awesome. love him. Oh, yeah, Talon. He is yeah. so great. Oh, the van. Yeah, that's the what you got your van. Inspired me to get oh, one of those vans. Yeah, when he first got the van, the first thing he did was drive up, stayed at my house for like three or four days before he went on like his. Yeah, all his country, country all yeah. fifty state trip, mm-hmm. new town, That's and awesome. um, you know, oh, he's he's the best. I love him. He, cool he's guy. such a sweetie. Fuck, leak him. Yeah, and, and I was like, Talon, you can stay in the mansion that I live in because you know I ball. And <laughs> <you're> <laughs> that dick again. He's like, Nah, man. I'll stay in the driveway in my van. I sleep best now. It's like, all right. Well, if you need something, you know, you can stay in one of the forty-seven rooms in the house. And uh, no, but he's cool. So he made me want one too. Was yeah. that a? They're so cool. Is that a joke or is there actually forty-seven rooms? Forty-seven rooms. <laughs> we have an eighteen thousand eight hundred square feet. I have a five thousand square foot skate park. 
Oh, dude, have you seen his fucking skate park? I haven't seen it. He was telling me about it. Dude, though, his fucking his... pictures of it. it it's it's a because <clears throat> his son is a skater. And I okay, my son is a wannabe. Okay, okay, he's First a skater. All, I've skated since I've had a half pipe since I was twelve. I skate Bert still today. <laughs> I get after it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> what do you not no, do? I, <laughs> we will come live with you and make your contest five hundred grand a year per person. Be poor. I mean, <laughs> if you make me money, y'all can have whatever you want. Five hundred grand a year. We just signed up. We can make her own contest. Okay, make me get... a million bucks. You can have five hundred grand. Oh, a year. we could do that. Whatever you really want. Oh, that's super that's easy. Super easy. Oh, <laughs> that is so easy. Got... We do it. We I said it. per person. Because Matt, <laughs> I said per. Fine. So we just need to make but three million. million. I, was, I was talking about Matt's content. Like my son, when he was like six years old, he and I were blowing up cars and doing shit. We weren't even videoing. We we're just doing it because we have big dicks and we're badasses. We weren't videoing anything. We're doing it by ourselves. I was like, hey, yo, my man, they brought a new van to the range. You want to go shoot it? He's like, we got any tear around? I'm like, who the fuck don't? And he's like, yeah, dad, let's do it. And he get the MG42 out on the tripod. He's like, boom. I'm like, oh, my God, that was cool. It's like, Dad, that was pretty cool. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. If I, if I ever have fucking kids, I'm worried about that. Like the overexposure to cool shit. That's what, yeah. you know, that's what's happening with my son right now. I know, now. yeah. Like yeah. that. Oh, they get desensitized John, to John's life. desensitized to cool shit. I'm like, hey, Bill Goldberg is at the range with a minigun. Do you want to go? No, I'm just going to play well, some games. You, you know, <laughs> well, fuck, in some ways, you and I are living the same life. Because my son, like, idolizes you. And it's like, hey, you know, they're writing a book about me. and Like, you, you know, son, I have a castle. <laughs> and I forgot you literally a own a castle. Wait, do you have a castle? Yeah, I have a castle. And I was <laughs> like, we have a castle. We have Can, a plane in Africa. I want to see your we, castle we now. do these things. And it's like... He's like, yeah, that's cool. Remember man. when we thought we but made he it? Doesn't want, my son doesn't want to be a rich kid. So. This episode is going to be like Call of Duty, my gun sound, something, and now it's just going to be unsubscribed. We're poor. <laughs> and that's going to be it. No. Kevin but, poor shames the podcast. <laughs> yeah, Kevin yeah. poor shames but the podcast. He, you know, uh, he, okay, so here's the truth. So I bought my castle for $2.5 million, and I... We've oh, spent <laughs> we've spent like five nights there. No, it's a lot of money. I mean, that's the point. It, it's ironically the point. But now it's actually surprisingly not that much. To you no, have how my, many rooms do you have in your fucking house? Forty eight. Forty eight fucking 18, rooms. Eighteen thousand square feet. So my 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 castle is probably worth seven million dollars now. Oh, so it's a good investment. And my son is like, mm. <laughs> but he cool, doesn't get it. Man. My my kid is my son. He doesn't like being the rich kid, and it's a whole weird thing. Like my son only thrifts his clothes. He hasn't shopped for clothes since he was twelve years old. He only thrifts them. He's like, that's gonna. Cool. He's just not into <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah, and, and and two. But he came to me recently, and he's like, Dad, when I show my friends pictures, so like we're playing Call of Duty, whatever, blah blah blah, you know, and they're probably like smoking weed and fucking off and getting you know bootleg tattoos and doing graffiti. He's like. <laughs> Those damn white kids. I tell I tell my friends, it's like we had MG forty twos on trap we we like blow shit up and we're fucking badass. And I show them videos and they're like, that's photoshopped. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, like, motherfucker, I told you. It's like uh, what Brandon and I tell my son. It's like you realize people would have to win contests to do the shit that you I invite you to do a couple times a week. And the week. people we hang out with and all, yeah. just all like the a weekly occurrence for us yeah. is something that like it, that's yeah. that's why I like that like just even John and John's a really good kid. Like John's, yeah, fucking, John's awesome. a fucking great kid. But oh, I, I my just son's see that the and I'm same like, way. So great. My son's the same way. My son came into so I see my son every day, but he's 19, you know. He's like whatever. He's got his own wing of the house. And he, he comes up and sometimes he shows up. I didn't up catch for breakfast. that till you left. <laughs> sometimes he's there for dinner. He's gonna be Batman when you die. <laughs> I, 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 I hope he is. Like, ur, ur, so. the, when you get the, shot in the, alley by a honey badger, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. This, you're like, no. <laughs> this is the shame of my life. Like I was recently you dating. You didn't use the 151 crane. <laughs> <laughs> and then you die. <laughs> <laughs> well, get this. So my son recently, this is in the last three months, probably. He, <laughs> Sorry, he, I just thought of that meme, like, gay dies. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but my son comes in the kitchen. I'm cooking dinner, and there's a girl in a long T-shirt wearing nothing else. And my son is like, he comes in, like, I hadn't seen him in like a day or two. That's you know, a he's, long time. He's old. Well, he's 19. He's out doing shit. And he got lost in his wing of the yeah. mansion. Yeah. <laughs> no, a, so he, Sorry, father. I had to drive the golf cart to this part of the house. Have you met my whore? <laughs> She's cooking my meal. He, he, comes, he, he comes in the kitchen. I don't want to know where and, he comes. Uh, he, he comes into the kitchen. And I'm cooking... Are we still Let's talking see. about whores? Yeah. So we're well, no, because she's she's wonderful. She's an actress on like a big show. What <laughs> restaurant? TV. Oh, oh, she's an actress. Oh, I was we'll gonna say what restaurant does she work at? But <laughs> so <laughs> but you oh, know it's so funny. No, no, it's because you lived in LA for so long. <laughs> but she's on a big net Netflix show and it was in Atlanta, and I was in Atlanta, and I don't watch all that shit. And I was out with some friends and went to a party, and it's like this chick who's a famous actress. I didn't know was a famous actress and I'm there and I'm just like hanging out with the homies and you know, that's where I'm from. So that's the hood. I'm like, cool. I'm like being cool as fuck. I mean, you guys know me. I'm being cool as a motherfucker. And then, and sh she's like all talking to me and I'm like, <laughs> yo, <laughs> I know it's so lame, but she was like, Immediately, was like, Larry, just like desperately trying to hold it together. <laughs> and I'm like, God damn, she's cute. How is this bitch single? And, Turns out she's famous, but I didn't know this. And I was like, you know, and to me, I'm hanging out with the homies. I'm not thinking about that shit. And I'm like, God damn, she's hot. She's way too cute for me. And so I'm just like, whatever. I'm doing the thing. I'm fixing her a drink. I've made her an omelet. I'm like, what the fuck you want? And she's like, oh, no, I'm yeah. sorry. That was your pickup line. You made her an omelet. I made her an omelet. Hell yeah, dude. You know how to make omelets? Like yeah, I so know how I'm to make cooking. a fucking. So it's like. Sorry, a, it's more confusing. We're stuck at that compared to walking down. What's this hot bitch doing in my goddamn kitchen? No, well, my, 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 <laughs> well, my I didn't man. Think she was in the kitchen at the time. No, my man <laughs> is an executive at Netflix. Okay. All right. And so I, I'm in his place, big ass place in Atlanta. And, you know, it's like they all is wake this up. before at, or after you fucked the bitch from Stranger Things? The same day. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you gotta know <laughs> total yeah. fucking and, hail mary guess but uh and, and that's fucked up because my niece is on stranger things she's wait, really what? she's seven well i didn't mean that wait is she your actual niece yes what you all right wait, so on. fuck y'all we're, we're going back yeah. to no, my story you were okay original story Sorry, wait we are son there's comes down mm, hot actress my son comes but before this i'm like i'm in there kicking cooking breakfast i get up at like 9 a.m nobody gets up before 11 i'm cooking breakfast and the girl comes down and i was like god damn she's really beautiful and she has a twin an identical twin they both come down I'm like it's like my fantasy it, that wasn't did a you thing. not know they were in your house it's a big mansion it wasn't my house but I'm cooking breakfast. I and, use that excuse all the time. Yeah. Go on. So I'm cooking breakfast. I'm cooking the omelets and shit. I'm cooking one for me, cooking one for my son, cooking one for his girlfriend. And whoever else comes down, like I'm just cooking omelets. And she comes down. So this girl, and I'm not going to name her. And uh, she like comes down. She's like talking to me. And I'm like, you want an omelet? Like whatever. <laughs> And I like, like you always sound I'm bored of this well, shit. Well, to me, it's like, <laughs> it's like she, she's not interested in me. <laughs> it, I mean, to me, it's not because, like, I'm too cool. It's just, like, she doesn't like me. It's like, you're really beautiful even just waking up. Do you want a fucking omelet? <laughs> like, okay, I, I don't need to be rejected by you, too. I'll make you an omelet. Just say what the fuck you want. Then her twin sister comes Who down. Who hurt you? <laughs> My parents. <if> you <laughs> them, uh, God damn, man. <laughs> And so her twin sister comes down. I'm like, God damn, they made two of y'all. And so anyway, I'm like, whatever. Cooking breakfast. My son comes in, all the things. I'm making breakfast. And the girl's like flirting with me. I didn't really recognize it. My son's like, who is your girlfriend? I was like, what? Like, I don't know. It's like some actress bitch. But I didn't know who she was. So it turns out she's pretty famous. <laughs> And, just and, needs to wear, wear her shit this is based on it. I, know. I, was, I was just like I don't, I don't know like I made up some shit he's like dad I don't like you I was like you're an idiot go back to your room and so anyway and she's like hey what are you doing this afternoon and I was like I don't know I'm like fucking off what do you what she's like do you want to go do something I was like 
oh god then i realized because <laughs> i think like she's like 30 it turns out well she's close to there and i was like <laughs> and i was like i'm gonna do this thing i don't know what do you um what do? it's like could i take you to lunch I'm like, oh of course you could <laughs> and then so we go to lunch and so I, she's like so uh i heard you own a gun company i was like yeah, and then I'm like, this is a fucking gold digger. <laughs> I'm such a fucking douche. But I'm like, yeah, bitch, I'm rich. And, and I'm like, what do you do? And she's like, oh, I'm uh, I'm an actress. I'm on uh, this show. And I was like, oh, you make ten times as much money as me. I was like, oh. yeah. I was like, <laughs> season one, season two, uh, she's poor. Uh, season three, yeah. There you go. This like, is yeah. where I was like, you know, I'm 48. And she's like, yeah, I like older guys. I was like, you know, I just do this thing. It doesn't make as much money as you. She's like, yeah. So I need a guy that has his own thing. And I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so then my son, I see him. He's like, did you not know who that was? I was like, nah. He's like, she's on, I'm not going to say it, but we blah, bleep blah, blah, it. show. No, and bleep. We'll bleep it. No, I'm not going to say it. No, 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 bleep it. No. You, you will, I, my brother in Christ, you have to say this later. Like, I have, <laughs> yeah, I have I to have fucking to know this story no. after. Wait, for real? <laughs> really? I was like, mm. what? I know. <laughs> and I was like, twins? And she's like, fuck it all we out. Don't do that. Start right now. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. Fuck me. And I was like, mm. she's like, I don't know. You're funny and not an actor. It's fine. I was like, I agree. <laughs> His superpower is real. I know. Have you he seen did, my Kevin ranch? just has a big dick. I yeah. guess. Yeah. Right. He passes Damn. out really fast. Oh. <laughs> mm. oh God, wakes up, comes everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I do while I'm sleeping. Oh, just oh like, my God. Okay, well that is that episode. <laughs> of unsubscribe. Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out. We're gonna roll into the after thing. Kevin, Brandon, Cody, where can we find you first? First of all, where can everyone find you? Good it's sir. your mom's house. Okay. <laughs> Type that in. Buy a honey badger. At your mom's house.com. Buy a honey badger. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>